It's a bizarre story We've been following now for several days. Uh, police arresting a man they say uh, who they call the TikTok trickster. They say that he faced charges in several states, including theft, fraudulent use of a credit card, and even sexual assault of a child. Instead, that he was meeting up with women he met on TikTok, taking money from them and then disappearing. It came to an end when he came to stay with a Kentucky woman who said she was able to play his game. Sean Moody joins us now to explain. Hey, Larry, this woman didn't want to be identified. She's still pretty upset over what happened. She said she was falling in love with him, but once she learned about what police said his backstory was, she was determined to catch him. She talked exclusively to LAX 18. The love story blossomed quickly. The woman began talking with the man in February that she knew as Jason Mitchell on TikTok, and he came for a visit from his home in Alabama. So we planned on um, him coming out and us hanging out for the weekend, and things escalated, and he ended up staying for a few weeks. We had made plans. Um, going on vacation for spring break behind a house. She um, said as they spent time together, there were some red flags. She couldn't find anything about him when she Googled his name, but she figured she was being paranoid. You want to give people the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I, I mean, you're you're supposed to. It was a spring break trip that unraveled everything. She said she, her girls, and Mitchell were going to Alabama where he would get his vehicle and clothes to bring back to Kentucky. She said she gave him some money to valet the car at Bluegrass Airport, but he never came back. He calls and says that he's being interrogated by the security at the airport for taking three females on a plane. Meantime, she went to the ticket yes. counter. And she told me she didn't have anybody under that name, under my name, under my daughter's name, nobody's name. And I was like, OK, something's not right. And when she went to security to see what was going on, it hit her. Whenever she told me that they didn't have anybody, and I said, well, I guess I've been scammed. And she said, sounds like it. She and the girls found the car and headed home. On the way, she got a call from security at Bluegrass Airport. Told me that he left at 716 and got in a black SUV at the airport. Hours later, she said Mitchell had reached back out saying that he was in the hospital. She said she decided to play along and ask for the doctor's name. That name returned a match at UK Hospital, but when she went there to investigate, there was no Jason Mitchell. She kept up the girlfriend act, trying to get more clues. I mean, I played the game for a week because I was bound and determined. I said, I love you. Oh, honey, I hope you get feel, get to feeling better and all of it. How'd you do that? <laughs> I'm a woman. I can lie. <laughs> That's when the whole thing exploded. Thanks again to TikTok. But my friend was able to find a video and it had his picture, it had his name, his aliases and everything on it on TikTok. It was like a light went off in my head like, aha. Police here in Kentucky worked with agencies in other states who were also searching for him and had his aliases. Police in Alabama said he had taken a woman's credit cards after developing a relationship with her. Another woman said he had taken her car. UK police also said he had a warrant out for sexual abuse of a child in Texas. Police went to the hospital armed with a driver's license picture and a new name, Brenton Fillers. They found him there and arrested him. The whole experience has left her rattled, in part because she said her experience doesn't line up with anything the other women reported. He was a good person to me, and that's what hurts so bad is the person that I was falling in love with it's not the person that all of these other women are talking about. There was good times, but they were all a lie. Nothing was true. It's one of those things that you don't think will ever happen to you, and it does happen to you, and it's so mind-blowing that you can't make this up. You know, there's no way in a million years I would have ever thought of this story. Now, Fillers is at the Fayette County Detention Center. He declined an interview. There's no word yet on when he might be extradited to one of those other states where he has warrants. Larry, back to you.